Hi, I'm Natalia from Call Fire, and I want to help you make your phone system a more powerful tool for your business. Use Call Fire's voice and SMS APIs to create anything from mass broadcasts to easily navigate voice response systems. Email me now at natalia at callfire.com. Hey everyone, Amanda Kulong with TechZoo.com, and we are here at CES at the Ford Pavilion. We're going to check out their software development kit and AppLink, which is in all of the 2011 Fiestas. So let's get on over and see. Amanda Kulong with TechZoo.com here at CES, and I am with Mike from Ford Motor Company. And what are we looking at here, Mike? This is pretty cool. Yeah, so what we have here is our technology development kit that we give to developers and partners and give them the capability to write mobile apps against our Ford Sync platform. What we announced now is that we've come up with Pandora, Stitcher, and OpenBeak uh, integrated into the Sync radio. Uh, so it's coming out on Mustang. Uh, in 2012, we launched it to the Fiesta as a USB update. So Fiesta owners can go to Sync My Ride and download the application uh, to upgrade it. And then they can go to their app store and download Pandora, and it'll be integrated with Sync. Yeah. You've got some stuff that's integrated, but then with this SDK, you're saying that anyone who wants to create an app that goes into your cars in the future with AppSync will be able to do it? Exactly. So we would give them this type of unit. Uh, they can write their mobile app on their phone handset, and they'll have the capabilities of writing it, testing it against a sync platform, and it has the full capabilities of doing all the vehicle functions, such as shutting your car off, uh, turning your radio on, turning it off, and seeing how your mobile app interacts with Sync as it would in a vehicle. Wow. What apps would you love to see in your car? I love Pandora, actually. <laughs> it's a great app. Just internet streaming music, you yeah. listen to it, it's personalized content. Uh, you know, I'm definitely one for personalization. I don't do a lot of pre planning. Some people like to do that pre planning sure. types of stuff where you can set up your routes. We have that with Sync Services. Uh, but personally, I like Pandora because I just like the personalized content of streaming internet audio and stuff. Now, what about um, apps specifically for social media? You know, there are some other companies here that have announced stuff with Facebook and Twitter integration for the yep. in-car experience. What about that sort of thing? Yeah, so we actually did launch with OpenBeak, which is a Twitter application, uh, and that is actually integrated into our systems currently as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so with OpenBeak, you can go in, you can listen to your friend's timeline, retweet lines in. Sync will actually read out your tweets to you while you're driving your car. So we did come out with that as well. So nice hands-free driving. Excellent, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all voice controlled, so you can keep your eyes on the road, uh, right, and just hit the voice button and you can say open beak and all the commands are available to you. And are they pretty accurate? Yeah. It's whatever's available from the phone app. You know, it's made available via voice command mm -hmm. and as long as it understands you, you'll be able to do any function you want, right? You can't say, you know, play play a radio station in open beak, so you have to say retweet or read my friend's timeline, and it's all available. Oh my goodness, talk about, you know, being uber addicted to Twitter and just staying connected to everything all the time. It makes it really possible. So would you say that's a trend that's going on here at CES is this notion of constantly being connected and have your data kind of port with you no matter where it is that you are, whether you're on your phone or getting into your car? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, connected content and you know people are just overwhelmingly using their smartphones getting all types of content to them uh, it's definitely huge not just for automotive who's trying to integrate it into your personal lives but all types of other apps here at CES. And when is the Mustang coming out that's going to have this? That's going to come out early in uh, this year so I don't have an exact date but it's coming it's coming soon. Which color Mustang are you going to get? I like black, so it's black on black and fast GT. Great. So um, if developers want to get this software developer kit behind me here, development kit, where would they go? How do they find out? SyncMyRide.com slash developer. They can sign up. They can give us our information. We'll provide some information, some content right there. And basically, we're looking through and developing the trusted partners, picking those uh, apps that are, you know, best for our community so we haven't opened it up to the wide public yet we're still looking at trusted partners uh, but you know we're definitely trying to evaluate all types of applications and all types of ideas yes this is a 2011 fiesta 
Ooh, with AppLink. With AppLink. Well, we're very excited to hear about AppLink. So can you show us how it works up here? Certainly. So um, basically, um, drivers are using their, their smartphones, the apps on a smartphone such as Pandora and Stitcher, and they're connecting to the vehicle today via Bluetooth or, or the aux jack. And what they're doing is they're command and controlling the app by looking away from the, the road and touching the screen, etc. So what AppLink does is it transfers the UI, user interface, to the vehicle and locks out the application on the device, like a phone or the media player does. And so that allows me to stow away the device and never have to touch it again and use the vehicle controls, the steering wheel controls, the radio, and voice, just like we use the, the sync application or the, the sync features. So right now we're streaming Pandora live right through this phone, and I'm going to use some different features. Like I like this song, so I'm going to thumb it up. I can simply one click here, and it's now thumbed up and told Pandora to play more music like it. I can use other features like uh, let's skip to the next. Oh, it's already skipping because the song just ended. So now we're listening to Tom Petty, and let's say. I like uh, your musical choice, by the way. Oh, do you? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. So I'm going to go ahead and skip. So I just one click. So I'm driving, I'm looking, and I got my hands on a wheel. Never had to look away to change change the track. And that's what users are using is the thumb up, thumb down, and change stations. So there's different ways to actually change the stations. I can do it via voice, or I can do it via preset, just like a radio. <laughs> so let's use voice commands now because I showed you all the menu options. So let's say I forgot my list of stations. List stations. List stations. Nice pick. PlayStation Quick Mix. Is that correct? No. Pandora, please say a command. List my stations. You got to get it correct. Quick Mix. Rush Radio. Today's Hits Radio. Passion Hit Radio. Hard Radio. So let's go to, to Today's Hits Radio. So I just interrupted Pandora, it. Pandora, please say a command. PlayStation Today's Hits Radio. So now I'm tuning to that, and I'm going to jam out on Today's Hits. Hopefully there's... So you can even interrupt it if you need to. Absolutely. So if you get a long list, you can say, oh, I just heard the song that I want, the station I wanted. I can interrupt it and then tell it what, where to go. So we also have, we launched three apps, um, Stitcher, Pandora, and OpenBeak. OpenBeak is a Twitter client, which allows you to receive inbound tweets. It doesn't allow you to tweet from the car. Okay. So um, it converts text to speech and it reads out the tweets. I don't have the phone here with that mm -hmm. on here, but we also have um, Stitcher running, which is a podcast radio. Yep. So Pandora is the music mm -hmm. you know, application, and Stitcher is... You're doing everything, podcast. essentially, from your, from your steering wheel. Absolutely, and that's what we want to do, is we want to focus on the drivers, focus on driving, and it's just like changing a radio station. Wow just like you do today. And when is this all going to be available? Uh, this is available right now in the 2011 Ford Fiesta. It was it was just launched. It was just launched in uh, December. So current owners of Ford Fiesta 2011 can go to syncmyride.com and download an update to the vehicle. They put it on their thumb drive and they load it into the vehicle and they now have AppLink. You put it on a thumb drive and upload it to your vehicle. Our vehicles are computers. Yes, they are. Wow. Yeah, is, so, that the, is that the future focus, is more the vehicle being a computer? So the great thing is, is Sync is an upgradable platform, so we can keep adding features. Yeah. We can improve and make things better, and that's what we've been doing. So we've got a lot of lessons learned over the last three years with Sync, yeah. and we still we think we have the leg up. Now on over it. here with Ford Motor Company, and we're in a Fiesta, which also happens to be a really big computer. I'm Amanda, Tech Zulu at CES.